Hello and welcome to Committee and Field in Holliston, Massachusetts on Monday, May 21st for SportView's award-winning production of Holliston Panther Lacrosse 2018. It's found only on HCAT TV. Tonight, the Panther girls play host to the Canton Bulldogs of the Hockamock League on senior night. My name is Tom Emmons, and alongside in the booth is my co-host, Tom Trainer. Tom, the Panthers are just one win away from clinching their very first state tournament playoff spot. Can Holliston seal the deal tonight against Canton? Tom, thanks for having me. Another beautiful night for lacrosse. I fully expect Holliston to come out of this game tonight with a win and their first chances in the playoffs. Senior night, beautiful weather, just a great day for lacrosse, Tom. It should be a fun one. Holliston comes into this game with a record of 8-7. and seven. They've scored 175 goals on the year. Their head coach is Emma Decker. The Canton Bulldogs are 4-10. and 10. They've scored 112 goals on the season. Their head coach, Lori Beth Chabot. We'll be back with Senior Night Ceremony in just a moment. Welcome to Senior Night here, the Holliston Girls Lacrosse Team. Gonna set up a tunnel for the seniors to go through and meet their families. First up, number one, Sage Grant. Sage always has a great smile on her, Tom. Out there with her family, a nice moment. Well, after this much lacrosse they've been through, Tom, it, it takes a family to, uh, you know, support an athlete, student athlete at this level, you know. It really does. It's so, a lot of work. What year do they usually start in? So nowadays they're starting in the third and fourth grade. Mm -hmm. They start young, they start playing in the youth programs, and as they start developing, you start playing more advanced, joining various clubs across the uh, state. And then from there back into high school and still do club. Club is year round these days for lacrosse. Number 30, senior goaltender, Emily Zaraski. Emily Tom, and we said in one of our earlier broadcasts, has been the MVP of this league for this, this Holliston team. Just a tremendous young lady, worked very hard. Just made some tremendous saves all year round. Just, just a terrific player. Heading off to the University of Vermont next year. That's great. Senior captain number 15, Morgan Perry. Morgan is a dual sport athlete. She's also a, a big hockey player, ice hockey player. That's right. Morgan is heading off to Providence College next year. Another great school. So now the, the tradition started several years ago. We'll also recognize the Canton seniors. Mm -hmm. Proud family there. Seniors for the Canton Bulldogs. All right, we'll be back with the opening draw on senior night in just a moment. All right, starting lineup for the Panthers tonight. Number three at the attack. Number three, Jada Shaughnessy. Number 17, Lily Trainer. Number 20, Olivia Givens. And number 24, Audrey Strock at the midfield. Number eight, Kaylin Tremblay. Number 13, Lauren Sally. Number 16, Audrey Givens. Back on the defense, senior number one, Sage Grant. Senior, uh, junior captain, number seven, Grace Inman. Senior captain, number 15, Morgan Perry. 
And in the goal, number 30, Emily Zaraski. Ready to go, Tom. One win to get into the playoffs. Take well, care of business tonight. Well, this team's worked hard this season to get put themselves in a position to get their ninth win and, and seal their seal their deal for the playoffs. 25 minutes on the clock for the first half. Number 17 trainer out to take the opening draw. It starts here, Tom. This is where we get control of the game. It starts with the draw. You can see Lily Trainer's looking around, positioning her teammates where she wants them so she can anticipate where to try and put the ball. And the Canton team, number 14, Alexa Mafio, is going to do everything she can to not allow that to happen. Keep your eye on number 13, Lauren Sally. She's got 52 draw controls to lead the Panthers. Good pop on the ball. And trainers got the got the draw on. Panthers are into the attack zone. So Lily's just going to try and move the ball up the field here. Just settle down, see what kind of defense Canton is going to give them. Not in any hurry. Moving the ball behind the goal over to sophomore Audrey Strock. Back over up top now to Lauren Sally, bringing it up top. Freshman Libby Givens. Jada Sean and C just pushing it in, not hurrying it, not hurrying it. Sophomore Audrey Givens now rolling around to the front. Nice move. Saved by Revanche. Ooh. And a score. Lily picked On up the, the rebound. Lily Trainer picked up that rebound from Audrey Givens and finished it, put it into the net. So at 24-10, Holliston on the board in the first minute. Lily Trainer with her, uh, her 52nd goal of the season, 123rd of yeah. her Panther career. I added up from last time. You, you speak, Tom, like I know who this young lady is. <laughs> Completely impartial you are. Yes, I am. Well, a great start to the game for the Panthers. Like you mentioned, they... You know, came in very patiently, moving the ball, checking some matchups. It was nice to have Audrey go to the goal. There, we just had a little miscommunication there. Lauren Sally went in on the ball too soon. Lily put it right to Lauren's stick side, but she j jumped a little early, and the ball went right over the top of her. That's just the communications. Now they got a double, triple team there. The ball's out. Oh, it bounced right back to the Canton player. Wow, that was good defense. Can't fully extend your arms, Tom. It's considered a push, which would be a foul. But she left her stick open. Lauren oh, Sally with a back check. A uh, nice steal by Kalen Trombley from the midfield now. This is something Kalen's been working on, trying to get rid of the ball quicker. She's got to use her help now. There it is. Now they're nice. moving it up quickly. Nice job. Emma Sawyer's bringing it up field to Jada Shaughnessy. Jada is now taking the ball up the field. Good transition. They have the numbers here. Oh, nice fake by Jada to the goal. Right around. Shot saved by Ravanchi. It's going to be Holliston ball. Nice job by Jada. I Come think Shaughnessy was looking for help, but she was making such uh, progress in the transition that she just went around the defender for the shot. It was well done. Well done. Just that's a shot there. You like to see her go low with all the sticks up in the air. So now Audrey Givens set a pick for Lily Trainer. That's Trainer in front, shot up top, but there was a whistle just before then. So that was shooting space, Tom, there where the defender was not within a stick's length of Lily. It's a safety issue. So Lily is now awarded a free position, but it was a beautiful pick by Audrey Givens. Shot, score! And number 17 buries her second of the night. Two to nothing, Holliston. And we will... Don't have three minutes off the clock. So Holliston on the attack early and often for a two to nothing lead. So I was talking about the pick, Tom. That was a great play by Audrey. It's something that they've focused on the last few games, trying to set the play. When you start playing your tougher teams, they're going to try and shut down your stronger players. So if you can get picks like that, that frees Lily. Lily, in this case, can either go to the goal or somebody else becomes open. 
that Lily then can drop the ball off to. Good team play, a very, very well executed pick right there by Audrey. Canton on the, wins the draw. Knocked to the sideline. A stick violation. I'll give Canton the ball. So on that last draw, just miscommunication on the circle where you need to be to watch for that ball. Basic thing, Tom, is look for the ball before you start moving for the ball. So now Hollison is settled, a little settled defense here. They're putting kind of higher, higher up pressure on the Canton players, make them feel uncomfortable. Nice slide by Grace Inman just to cause the Canton player to have to pull back out. Canton now works the ball behind the goal. So number 14, Alexa Mafio. She's only a sophomore. Moving the ball around. You can see Canton is trying to set up a play here now. Very important for the Hollis and defense to talk to each other. A good drive and a nice slide. Shot, and a goal. Score. Number 18 makes it two to one, Holliston. I didn't even finish saying it, Tom. <laughs> it's important that you have good communication there. And that was a situation where the Canton player slid past and we just didn't execute our trade off quick enough. And that gave her a free opportunity to go into the goal. Well, Holliston was, everybody had everybody marked up, uh, just went. It just added, acted like a double screen as the number 18 kept coming all the way around from the left to the right side. Gave her a shot in on Zaraski. That's a smart play because it gives you the opportunity that if nothing else, you get a foul, you get a goal, you get a free, uh, free position. So smart play. Yeah, you can't really clog, like you can't clog up that middle because you get the, the shooting space violations. Uh, get down low. Uh, so there you see this, us bobbling the ball around right there. We won the ball, but that's, that's fundamentals. If Kaylin has her upper hand on the top of that stick, you win that ground ball better. This is where Kaylin has got Jada Shaughnessy wide open. Good hustle. There it is. Nice look by Kaylin. Jada's taking it up and setting it up. Going behind the goal. There's a nice cut by Lauren Sally. Oh, Lauren was wide open in the middle. Jada just hesitated a minute. What was wide open. Okay, so here we go. Working behind the goal. Audrey Gibbons on that roll. Quick Drops feed to Lauren Sally. Ooh. Got a whistle. I think she had a stick to the head here. So not, not a shooting space. Just Lauren is awarded a free position here. I'd love to see her go to that bottom left right here. In goes Sally. Bounces it home for the goal. Three to one, Holliston. And that's exactly where... Uh, Lauren put that, Tom. She put it in that bottom left. The keeper was hugging the right-hand side of the cage. Lauren recognized it and put it into the bottom left. 25th goal on the season for number 13, Lauren Sally, the junior. She's third on the Panthers and goal scored. 20 minutes and 10 seconds left in this first half. Holliston with a 3-1 to one lead. Good to see Holliston respond after giving up the goal. It is to Tom. Canton. That is a nice response. Let's get the draw here. Nice job by Canton. Self draw. Oh, I'd like to have seen this challenge her a little bit. Look at it. the defense. Got to get in speed. there. Saved by Zaraski. And a nice pickup by Emma Sawyer's to get the ball back out. She's the, got it to Trombley. The defense is the defense has got to step up there and not let those players just have that free run. You can take a charge. Or even if uh, you can have a good foul, it stops it stops the play. It it is hard in girls lacrosse to step up as strong as in other sports, though. You you do better when you can angle, <laughs> sort of run your player off to the side. Yeah, the worst place you want to be is on the sideline for a lacrosse player, mm -hmm. especially if you're. Oh, there's a nice feed. And oh, <laughs> Jada Shaughnessy with a nice feed into Lily Trainer. Trainer, Trainer with the goal. And the hat trick early in this game, which she, she has done this season a couple of times. And that's it. That was a nice 
look by Jada Shaughnessy. Tom, if you go back a couple minutes ago, Jada had Lauren Sally wide open in the middle, and she hesitates. She did not hesitate this time. She triggered it, and Lily barely catches the ball. She just – it's a continuation. It hits her stick. She brings it down. Well, you, you see that with Holliston setting up their offense – especially when they get behind the cage there and get and just bring it to the corners. They're looking for those cutters from the weak side especially, and Canton's giving them way too much room in front of the net right now. Just a little confusing on their defense right there. Ball's out. Kalen Trauma should skip that up, which she did. We've had six draws, and Holliston's won three ahead to, to Givens. So we've... Controlled the draws right now by winning three of the six. Nice look in the middle. Uh, pops all the way back to the goalie. That ball was just a little bit behind. A little bit behind. So now the keeper is out. So she is a field player. So you can check that stick. And that's what they're looking to do. Fed the ball up. It's on the ground. Number 12, Maggie Connolly with the ball. Comes up with it. Got to slow her down right here. That's it. Oh, that was good D. Oh, they called a stick to the head on number nine, Emma Sawyers. Looked like to me she had good position and her stick in a good uh, good place. Yeah, Holliston really hemmed her in right there. Goes in for the shot. Oh. Hits the crossbar. Ball's bouncing around. Nobody has ownership yet. And we've got a shooting space. So another yep, free, did. free position for the Bulldogs. Now this would be good for see Emma Sawyer's getting there first, get a stick in there Shots nicely. Shot Zaraski with the net on it. That was a great job by Emma Sawyer's there to get in front of the ball, just disrupt the Canton player from getting an easy shot off. You talked about Zaraski being the MVP of this team earlier on, Tom. And, you know, just that confidence, a couple of, you know, free positions are great scoring opportunities for the Bulldogs, but Zaraski's standing tall. And she's just got that natural instinct, Tom. It's something that she's never really, she doesn't play lacrosse year round. She plays when it's in season, but she works hard. Having Coach Decker as a goalie coach obviously is a plus that she can uh, provide tips to Emily. A nice slide there by Morgan Perry to keep the Canton attacker from coming around to the front of the cage. Defense right now, just talking to each other. Better coordination here. Nice job. Aha Tumwe. Nice job. Back on defense. Nice job covering those cutters. Around the side of the cage, knocked away by Zaraski. Picked up by Grace Inman. Now, Grace, this is one of the things we work on, get rid of the ball quickly. We talked, Tom, she went right to the sideline. That's not where you want to be, especially if you She do. heard you, Tom. <laughs> Cut back. If you are not equally <laughs> proficient in your left and right hand, you do not want to be on the sidelines. You want to be in the middle of the field where you can make things happen. Oh, Lauren's got Lily Trainer in the middle. She's got her still open. Too much running. Too much running. You got Jada Shaughnessy way on the left. Now we've Somebody's now we've passed. released it. Libby Givens passed it over to Audrey Strock. Just a mishandle of the ball. Missed a fast break opportunity right there. Jada Shaughnessy, Shaughnessy nice move. And she draws the foul. A stick to the head there, so she'll have a free position. There's a big chance for number three. Here we go. Shaughnessy in. Shot. Saved by Ravanche. And uh, she, she's trying to release the ball quick. The ball is on the ground. That is, that's not the best way to clear the zone, but it's been effective twice for the Bulldogs. Nice job by Abaha and Tumway, the, the junior, to get in Good front hustle. of the Canton defender. Shot goes wide. First one to it gets possession. Canton got to it first.
14.56 to go in the first half. Panthers four to one over Canton so far. So Canton again trying to set something up here. Nice job, Kaylin Trombley to stop. Oh, I would have called a charge on that. She came right into Grace Inman, but they're gonna call Grace for the block. So an opportunity here for Canton for a free position. Nice job by Emma Sawyers to get shot in there. Shot goes low. Emma Sawyers had a lot to that shot going wide, Tom, by getting a stick in there just to disrupt the follow through motion. You know, it, it looks like the offensive player has a tremendous advantage by not being covered, but the defense comes in quick enough, it, just enough to disrupt a really good scoring opportunity. Oh, nice job there. The ball's out. Ball's out, picked up. Panthers on a ground ball. Oh, look at Audrey Strzok wide open now, right up to Audrey Gibbons. you got the two Audreys running down the field. Holliston in transition. They've got four on three with a trailer. Audrey Strzok trying to set something up. Back to Lily Trainer. Lily just setting There's them the down. There's the open person. Right to Audrey Gibbons. Gibbons goes low for the goal. Number 16, Audrey Gibbons. Makes it 5-1, to one, Holliston. Her third goal of the season. Nice patience there. Lily waited for it to settle. And we have a timeout. And uh, Canton called the timeout. So with 13.37 to go in the first half, 5-1, to one, Holliston. We'll take a quick break. Coach Chabot for the Canton Bulldogs wanted to want to talk to her team down five to one. Make sure that this game doesn't slip too much too far away for the Bulldogs, but the Panthers are really exerting themselves right now, especially in transition. His last two goals. Now on that particular draw, Lily looked back at Kaylin Trombley, saw where she was, and put the ball right to Kaylin. So now we're up on transition. If Kaylin looks up in the middle, she's got help in the middle. Tremblay takes it deep. So now they're going to try and set something up here. Audrey Struck loves to roll the goal Struck, right here. What a move. Turn. Shot save by Canton. Audrey loves that inside roll move. It's Unfortunately, the, the goaltender was ready that time. But that has become Audrey's bread and butter roll. Bread and butter roll. I like that. See, I was waiting to see if you <laughs> caught it, Tom. Oh, quickly on. Bounce just wide of the net. As Canton tried to get quickly on the attack there. So now Canton has the ball. Set up behind the goal. A little miscommunication on the defense, too. Just who was covering who. Grace Inman had two. And it's going to be Holliston Ball. Yeah, it, uh, the Canton player stepped inside the goal circle, which he cannot do. Emily, I'm not quite sure where Emily was going with that clear, but Canton has it now. Holliston's got to hustle back. Strzok with a good back check. I think Emily was trying to clear the ball out to Livy Givens, the freshman, sister of junior Audrey Givens. Nice double team by Sally. Yeah, the ball's out. Inman was right there to challenge that ball. So Kent just setting the ball up, looking to see what opportunities they have. Alexa Mafio, number 14, coming up high. Looks behind the goal for a quick strike. Kalen Tromley with a good defense. Well done. Ball's popped out, picked up by Emily. So now Emily in the goal circle has 10 seconds. And there's Insta. a nice pass to Shaughnessy. She's got Libby Gibbons wide open on the right-hand side. She sees it now. Ah, oh, just, just got away. <laughs> Good idea. She's had good awareness on the field. She saw where Libby was and just unfortunately overthrew her. But going back to Emily, once she gets possession inside the goal circle, Tom, she's got 10 seconds before she either has to release the ball or come out of the goal circle. Mm -hmm. 
So Hollison steals the ball right back. Audrey Strzok with the ball now. Nice hustle. Driving in front up to Johnson. Lauren Sally. There's oh. the look. Shaughnessy able to get it back. So they've set up a play now. You could hear Lily Trainer called out a play. I did not get what they called. Looks like they're going to try and create an isolation play from behind the goal. Tip by Canton out of bounds. Holliston ball. Looks like they were going to try and set up an isolation. Oh, right in front was Tremblay. That was a nice cut by Kalen. Shooting space. So she's taking this shooting space straight on. Her best option right here is top right because the goalie stick is middle left. Steps up. Tremblay shot. Knocked away. Rebound. Just over the net by Shaughnessy. That's where Kalen there shot it down low, but that's where the goalie stick was. So it makes it much, much harder to score. You got Audrey Strzok doing her roll. Spins, goes up high, hit the crossbar, it looked like. And we got a whistle. Lauren that Sally. That should be a free position for Holliston. Let's see now if Lauren's going to do that bounce shot in the bottom left or top right. Sally, shot Top. up in the right-hand corner for the goal. Six to one, Holliston, number 13. Lauren Sally with her second goal of the day. And her 26th of her Panther career. That was a nice position. She saw the top right is what the keeper was giving her, and that's what she took. So six to one, Holliston, 9.13 to go in the first half. Holliston responding well after the Bulldogs pulled within uh, one at two to one early in the game. And it looks like Canton has changed. So now Leah McClellan is taking the draws with Lily. Good flip. There it is, Lily should pick that right up. She did. Driving it right down the field. She's looking to set somebody up. Nope, not there, so she's not going to rush it. She's going to go behind the goal. Yeah, and no trainer was drawing a triple team. Everybody had sticks up, so that was a, that was a tough one. A good cut by Livy Givens across the middle. Unfortunately, there was not the angle to be able to hit her. All right, so here they go. Look at that. Trainer, round, turns, goes up top for the goal. Number 17, Lily Trainer. It was nice patience by Audrey Strzok there to get that assist. She saw Lily make the move from behind and put it right where it needed to be. So number 17 scores her fourth goal of the day, putting Holliston up 7-1. Good team ball right now, Tom. Nicely done, making some substitutions now at the midfield, taking out freshman Libby Gibbons and taking out defender Abha Apwala and bringing in, we've got Anna Siegel out there now. And the ball is bouncing around. Good fight and by Sally and Trainer. Trainer comes away with it. So they've also added Kate Moser back on defense right now. Jada Shaughnessy with the ball. Uh, had a stick up around the head. She's going to. Good cut by. Also got uh, sophomore Sophie Ryan out on the field now. So Coach Decker putting a number of different players in there. See what we can work around. Give them playing time. And they are setting up another play right now. Over Lauren Sally on the outside. Lauren's taking it up high. Over to Kaylin Trombley. Kaylin's looking to see what they're giving her. She's good, driving into the goal. Good, Breaks smart. The double team. I thought they were going to call a shooting space. Lily's looking to feed it to someone now. They're giving Lily too much space. Give and go with Shaughnessy. 
<laughs> Trainer calling the players around. Oh, a nice run in by nice Audrey look Straw. Nice there, shot. Oh, on the outside, I thought right. it was a nice shot yeah, by Audrey like, Gibbons. I saw the net snap, but didn't hear the, didn't see the ref. And long clear by the Canton goalie. So Canton's got it, trying to move. Oh, Grace Hinman with a beautiful steal at midfield. Nicely done, moved it right up to Audrey Gibbons on the outside. Holliston's back on the attack. 6.48 to go in the first half. Holliston leading 7-1. So Lauren Sally setting up behind the goal. In no hurry. Work it around. Lily Trainer up top over to Audrey Strzok. Audrey trying to drive it in. Nothing there. Good patience. Keep possession. Set it up now to uh, uh, Lauren Sally. Lauren's got an opportunity to drive. Nobody covered it. Oh, good defense. Sally in traffic. Good defense and there. Whistle blows. That should be give her a free position. Colleen Butcher had great defense and one of her other defenders. No, they're going to call that on Holliston. So. Yeah, Lauren Stick came up too close to the head. A Lily trainer, ooh, I don't know, they're going to call Lily for across the Canton player's body, which is a danger, and Lily just steals it right back. So now she's trying to set something up. Trainer gets away from her defender. Nice backspin. That's where you see, Tom, you see Lily's stick skills there. Going either hand there, which was nice. She didn't Strock have to pressure. With the move, drops it off. Trainer. Wow, that was shooting space. That defender was not marking anyone. Shaughnessy, wheel, spin, Ooh. shot, score. Number three, Jada Shaughnessy with her first goal of the day. And it's 8-1 to one, Holliston with 5-11 to go in the first half. You're seeing, Tom, a lot of ball movement, which is nice to see. Really a lot of a lot of different players are touching the balls. It really is is good team lacrosse right now. You got, oh. you got coming in now. Looks like Anna Siegel coming in on defense for her fellow junior Emma Sawyer's. And I can't see is that number four? They changed who's taking the draw. Again, the referee is just blocking my vision here. 14. They, they did change. They did change. 14 is Alexa Mafio. Alexia is a sophomore. Balls, balls on the ground. The pass. Lost. Sophie Ryan with the pickup. Alexa did not see where the ball was. 23 puts the Jets on. You can see, Tom, she runs track in the fall, and you can see the <laughs> speed right there. Nice look to Shaughnessy. And that's going to give Holliston the advantage on the free position here. Shaughnessy steps in, bounces one for is. the goal. Back to back. So number three with two goals inside a minute. Holliston with a 9-1 to one lead. Nice job by Jada. Went right to the goal, was aggressive with it. So Holliston's starting to use uh, that crisp passing and, so, and a little bit of speed there to, you know, really, really figure out the Bulldog defense right now. You've got now number five, junior Danny Kiley coming in up on attack. So Lily said something to Laura, right, Lauren, right before this draw. Let's see if they work together on this one. Ball drops out. The referee will reset him. Lily's leaning in to get that power on the right-hand side. She's got her right knee right under her stick to give additional thrust. And flips it right towards Sally. Lauren should get it one time. I don't know how that was an, an open stick check, but they didn't call it. 
So now Canton is back on Audrey Strock, moving very quickly to the midfield to slow down Canton uh, attacker. Good double team now from Danny Kiley and Audrey Strock. Well, now you got four people going after her. She's still got the ball, though, Tom. <laughs> well, sometimes that's all you can do, you know? It was good, good ball control there. Oh, a nice back check from Lily Trainer. Oh, no, they called her. Ooh, that looked clean, but they're saying Lily came over the tops. So Canton will have a free position right here. <laughs> you can and everybody, see. Everybody has to step out to where they were just before the whistle blew. There's the shot and goal. So at 334 of the first half, left in the first half, Canton scores their second goal of the day. It's nine to two, Holliston with the lead. That was junior Leah McClellan who scored that. Did a nice job of looking where the keeper was and put the ball where the stick isn't. So now we are on our 12th draw. And let's see what happens here. Oh, Trainer just, right towards Lauren just, Sally. Just pushed it right to Lauren. So that's our 12th draw, and that's the ninth draw control we've had in this half, Tom. That's, that's just a great percentage. I said that you're thrilled when you get 50-50. Right. So now they're just settled down here. This is where, this is a great opportunity to work on your settled offense. You got two big games coming up. You got Mansfield tomorrow night. You lost to Mansfield earlier in the season. And then on. Tremblay turns, fired, save. And Thursday. And getting on it. Thursday night against Hopkinton, which is one that the Holliston girls take real personal. Oh, Lily with the back check. Nice clean one. Out of oh, bounds, though. You can see the Lily. Ball. <laughs> you see Lily Trainer's frustration <laughs> there. She has a clean check, and then clearly <laughs> can't. You, you got to be so careful with that back check. We we got a real good look at that one, and it was. <laughs> It was a clean one. That was clean, and then it bounced out on Canton. And But, oh, good. Oh, Audrey Gibbons with the nice anticipation of the pass, but just missed it. Holliston hustling back on defense. Pass yeah. in the middle. And right in front, number six sneaks one by Zaraski. Just a miscommunication there, Tom, the defense. Got a little confused on that back part there. Somebody needed to step in, and uh, we were trying to cover our own girl versus stopping the ball carrier. The ball carrier is the most dangerous person. They're the person you want to stop first. So 9-3 to three, Holliston as Canton scores two goals in a minute and a half. Got 2 eight to go in the first half. See if Holliston can respond here with a goal in the in the last two minutes. Trainer with right good, to Lauren. Good draw. And Lauren, and, and Lauren Sally. The quick stick is out of the pack. So they're just working behind the goal. Audrey Stark. Audrey Stark has a lot of room right here. Yep. Nice double team by Canton. Yep, she felt it, so she didn't waste the shot. Now Lauren Sally's. Oh, Lily Trainer's wide open. There's the cut. 17 on it. Save, though, by R Ravanche. Nice job by Lauren. The pass just a little bit behind Lily, and therefore she wasn't able to get her full stick on it, but a nice read by Lauren to see that. And Audrey Gibbons, oh, Lily's wide open. Nobody's looking at Lily. How can you not be paying attention to number 17? <laughs> uh, they, Strock with a double move. Up shot, scores. Number 24, Audrey Strock with the goal. Makes it 10-3, to three, Holliston. Nice job. Audrey saw it. Just drove to the hole. 
That's her 31st goal of the season for the second on the team. With 107 to go, Holliston moves their lead to seven. Strock's got a really, she's got a quick first move, and, uh, you know, you talk about having stick uh, control on both the right and the left. She's got it. Used it right there to cut a couple of, uh, cut through a couple of Canton defenders, and then nice, uh, nice waist, waist high shot, beat the goalie. It's having confidence in both, it's having confidence in both hands, and Audrey has that, so there's a quick foul on Canton. So Lauren Sally who had the ball at the 35-yard line with just under a minute to play. Let's see if Hollison can set something up and try and get another one here. So Lauren will just work this around. Knocked away from Strock, but trainer on the loose ball. I think they're just going to work it around. I'd be surprised if they go to the goal, but they might. Sophie Ryan over to Lauren Sally. Lauren on a backdrop to Sophie. Wasn't there. Good job to keep possession of the ball. Over to Kaylin Tromley. Kaylin the feed There's to Lauren. There's a drop in front. Up top goes Lauren Sally for the score. Number 13 with no. her third goal of the day. A nice look from Kaylin Trombley. She didn't throw it quickly. Waited for Lauren to get past the defender. She did and put it in the net with 22 seconds left in the game. Now Hollister did a really nice job cycling there and a nice pass from, you said Trombley? Yes, Kaylin Trombley saw Lauren. She hesitated just a minute to give Lauren that space and Lauren took advantage of it. So 11 to three, Holliston, 22 seconds to go in the half. Got a violation against. You see, you see Lily and Lauren, Lily and Lauren have it working right now. That Lily's just having her where she wants to be. Uh, the Canton, Canton player, Alexa Mafio, a little frustrated here. You can just see it in her play right now. She's a little frustrated. Hollis is going to have to hurry. 12 seconds to go. Oh, good cut. Good cut. Don't force it, Lauren. Don't force it. There you go. Take One it. second. And I don't <laughs> trainer puts it up top for the score, but just two seconds too late. And that'll do it for the halftime. The Holliston Panthers 11. The Canton Bulldogs 3. We'll be back with second half action in just a moment. All right, teams are out for the second half. Panther goal scoring in the first half. Lily Trainer with four goals. Lauren Sally with three. Jada Shaughnessy with a pair. And then number 16, Audrey Gibbons, and number 24, Audrey Strock with a goal each. Panthers up 11 to three. So in that, I'm sorry, Tom, in that Go first ahead. half, so you had 15 draws in the first half, and Holliston took control of 11 of them. That's tremendous. So now you can see they're switching things up here. So now you have Lily Trainer on the circle, and you have sophomore Sophie Ryan taking the draws, and you also have Anna Siegel on the midfield circle. And looking at us defensively, you've got Morgan Perry, Alex Coburn, Eliza Altabelli, and Sage Grant out there. And on attack, got Libby Givens, Danny Kiley, Jada Shaughnessy, and Maggie Fitzgerald. Canton quickly on the ball. Pass knocked away by Holliston. Sophie Ryan comes up with the ball. Ryan using that speed to get out of some trouble. Oh, okay. Comes right back to her, though. Had an opportunity there. Maggie Fitzgerald, just the ball, jumped in and out of her sticks. Yeah. So, so Canton on the attack. So they're just... Alexa oh. Mafio is in the back. Canton scored three goals, did better running in transition than they did in their set offense. Speed. 
Tom, we talked about it earlier. You get that transition going. It is very hard to defend. You get a little chaos. Am I looking for the ball carrier? Am I looking for who I'm supposed to be marking? The ball bouncing around a little bit. Kenton still has it. And not much happening right now. I think they're trying to figure out. looking, but nobody's cutting to the ball. Yeah, so they're giving her space here. Gave her a little extra space, Molly Coburn. Good, good stick position by Holliston. Good defense by Anna Siegel, putting pressure on her. Nice defense right there. Siegel by goes on the loose ball, whistle. Yeah, I didn't like that call. Libby's given, we call it, if you think of a clock face, Tom, 10 mm -hmm. and 2. That's where you need to keep your stick. If you're horizontal, you'll get called for a foul for a push every time. Libby's given looked like it was at high noon and to me. And a shot and a score. Number 22 for Canton, Rachel Beatty. Scores first here in the second half, 11 to 4, Holliston. Holliston was hustling right there, but Canton took advantage of the of the whistle, and Beatty put it home. So now we got Anna Siegel taking the draw. So the referee has him set. Anna with a good draw. Good pop. Ball is loose. Into the Holliston attack zone. Quick stick by Larsh, Izzy Larsh. And she draws a foul as she's making a move around the defenseman. So now Izzy Larsh has it outside. She'll probably just go behind the goal here, try and set, set it up. We've said that a number of times today, but that's what it is. You set up your place from behind the goal. A good, good cut by Libby Givens. Maggie Fitzgerald. Nice move. Goes up top. Number 14. Maggie Fitzgerald with the goal. And quickly Holliston answers and goes back up 12 to 4. It was a nice job by Maggie seeing the open space, driving into it. Nicely done. Good yeah. job by Izzy Larch, too, to, to look for that and saw Maggie coming across, put it where it needed to be. And for number 14, Fitzgerald, that was lucky number 13 goal on the season for the sophomore Panther. Now we got Libby Givens on the draw. She becomes the, Fitzgerald becomes the sixth Panther with a goal today for Holliston. A big flip all the way into the Canton attack zone. So, I'm not quite sure what that call was, but Canton has the ball. The ball. Aaron pass, heads to the sideline. This is trouble for the Bulldogs. And it's out. And it'll be Holliston ball. This will be a good opportunity here. Alex Coburn, the junior, will bring the ball in. Izzy Larch should come running right to her like she's doing. Well done. Alex saw it. Nice teamwork right there. Izzy saw the opportunity to help Alex. Ball's on the ground. Checked away. So now Canton trying to go for the quick strike. Lies out to Billy, got in front. Good job to slow her down. That was a really good job by number 19. But then. <laughs> Cut around the net. <laughs> she went around. For the, the goal. Yeah, she just went right around the net. Tom and uh, her defensive teammates. Forgot to keep an eye on her. Just so, a little sloppy there. So Canton answers back. They've scored twice here in the second half. Holliston up 12 to 5. 21 20 left in the game. Anna Siegel going for her second draw. And the referee is. Make sure everybody's ready to go. Places the ball between their sticks. Got Anna going against Leah McClellan. 
So you got junior on junior here. Big toss back Balls towards on the Canton, ground. but Holliston, Altabelli was on the ground ball, but got, then got fouled. That was a nice draw by Anna Siegel. She had put a lot of power behind it. Wow, that was a quick check, but went uncalled. Wow, just getting sloppy here, Tom. We got to tighten this up. Bulldogs being a little more aggressive with the sticks. Oh, uh, Lily, Lily came in and stole that ball from the backside. And she's on the ground ball. Number 17 trying to pick up some speed <laughs> even while she's fouled. That'll slow her down. So now Lily's going to look for someone. Are they sending four off? Yeah, it, um, she hit Lily in the head, and anything to the head is a yellow card. So she goes off now for two minutes. So even if it's an, if it's an <clears throat> inadvertent hit to the head, it's a safety issue. So now do they see, call it man up or woman up? <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, man up, you'll hear. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're getting so, just sloppy. We got to protect that ball. Got to protect that ball right here. Well, Hollison's going to have another chance. So they're up a player here as one of the Canton players is in the penalty box. And another whistle against Canton. I, I just think Canton's getting a little more aggressive out here in the second half. Some of them they've been getting away with, but not all of them. I would like to have seen Izzy there just look behind her. She had Lily behind her. Lily goes on the cut over to Anna Siegel up at the top shooting space. Number 12 for Canton. Maggie Connolly was a nowhere ch near. Chance for Siegel. Steps it out to Ryan. Kylie cuts in front. Goes down yeah, low for the goal. Number five, Danielle Kylie. With her third goal of the season. That was a nice yeah. job by Danny. Danny's a left-hander. And so she went right across the face of the goal, the stick in her left hand, and then just put it in the lower left. Well done by Danny. So Panthers up 13 to five. As they took advantage of the man advantage. More substitutions. Lloyd Trainer is off the field and Sophie Ryan comes in to replace her. So Sophie now with her second draw. We didn't get the first one. We'll see what we can do here. So Kylie becomes the seventh Panther to net a goal today for Holliston. Ball's bouncing around. Kalen Trombley trying to win it. And it's going to be Canton able. Ball. All right, so Canton's ball. Sophie Ryan right up on top of her. Nice job, Alex Coburn. Put your stick up. There it is. Good job. Nice job by Alex to take that slide. Sophie pushed her right into her. Ball's out. Oh, loose Anna ball. And Siegel on the transition. She had a hit in the face, and they did not no blow call. the whistle. I think the referee was wow. in transition. Quickly come the Bulldogs. That's going to be a whistle on Holliston. Eliza Altabelli got called for the push. Got number 12 here. Maggie Connolly with the free position. A little far out. The defense should be able to close quickly. Look for Maggie to pass this ball off. And that's what she's doing. And the penalty is over, so the teams are back to even strength. Alex Coburn getting in there, fighting for that loose ball. And a Siegel up on defense on Alexa. Alexa touches the ball quite a bit for the Canton team as one of their midfielders as a junior. A nice double team slide there, well executed. And Sophie Ryan almost gets the ball out. Defense, good defense there from Mackenzie Underwood. She led with her stick, so there'll be no shooting space. Nice job, the defense, good job picking up as they're rolling around to the outside. Holliston keeping the 
Bulldogs to the outside. Has a good challenge. Morgan Perry. Brown ball, Perry on it. I think she was fouled as she was trying to bring that out. Came across the front of her face, so they called the foul. Morgan looking, at, oh, just a little too much juice on that, but picked up by Izzy Larch. Oh, Kalen Trombley's open in the middle. Look up, Izzy, look up. Well, that, that's, a, that's a slash. Right through the defense and got a stick on the shoulder. That's going to be a foul. So Izzy's got an opportunity right here. If she, on the whistle, takes no steps, passes it to left to Maggie Fitz. Maggie Fitz can go right to, oh, didn't want to do that, I guess, Tom. Coach said set up the offense. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice, nice spin move, shot, score. That's number eight, Kaylin Trombley. Her 18th goal on the season from the sophomore. At 16-33 makes it 14-5 Holliston. And yet another Panther on the scoreboard. Number eight becomes the eighth Panther. So good, ba good balance scoring from Holliston today too. Kalen took her time, reacted to what the defense gave her, and now Kalen Trump is going to take the draw. This will be the fifth person taking a draw today for Holliston. So Kalen's ready. Ball's up in the air and on the ground. Good hustle by Trombley, but... Canton comes up with it. It's Alexa Mafio. Didn't make it easy. Nice double there. Nice and save. quick stick. Nice save by Emily Zorowski. Zorowski with 104, she, she's not 104, oh, 104 she. saves this year coming into this game. She's had another handful today. So here's Sophie Ryan on. She's very quick. Great job making the transit. You got Maggie Fitz now coming down the left side. Audrey Gibbons pushes it over to Maggie Fitz. Ball's out. Bouncing around. Oh, oh she got checked she, off the ball there. Yeah, Maggie, <laughs> That'll just, be on Hollis. That'll be Holliston ball. Back in the day, Tom, they said that'll leave a mark. <laughs> Maggie's got Libby Gibbons in the middle, and that's where she goes to. Right drive. Gibbons, quick shot. Save, Ravanchi. I like the aggressiveness of Libby Gibbons on there. Now, Libby turned around. The keeper's out. Put a stick up in front of her. Yes. There you go. Ball's out. Mackenzie Underwood, nicely done. Hollison Kalen, back Kalen, on the attack. Kalen Trombley flick, picked it up. Yeah, she took, Trombley took a stick to the body. It's a nice job by Mackenzie Underwood on defense. Mackenzie's just a freshman, but did a nice job anticipating where that pass was and was able to break it up. Now an opportunity here for Kalen to pick up another goal. Trombley, turn back. Izzy Larch, just dangling on the right-hand side, taking it behind the goal. Looking to see what they're giving her. All right, let's move the ball. Anna Siegel has it. Nice cut back. Gonna nice get job a, by Siegel. Going to get a free position for Anna Siegel. And she saw a lot of Bulldogs collapsing in front of the net, and, and by going for the shot there, got the free position. This is a tough angle. This. Oh, Maggie Fitzgerald, I believe, is bleeding. And so they will set her off to get a Band-Aid put on. From that tumble that we said would leave a mark, Tom, I guess it right. did. I'm guessing it did. This is a tough angle now for Anna Siegel in the free position. but with no she's, one a, she's a right-hander. Right, but with no one to her left, she should immediately go a, across left and take that shot. I don't even think Anna heard the whistle. I didn't hear the whistle. <laughs> Shaughnessy. Threw some traffic, knocked away. That's where Jada wanted to switch that. She should have switched that to her left hand and she would have had a better opportunity for the shot. So Canton picks up the ball. And Anna Siegel's in hot pursuit and got called for a quick push. And it will.
will be Canton Ball. Carolyn Torgy. Sophomore with the ball, passing it off. Moved it off to 12. Maggie Connolly, the junior. She's going quickly to the goal. Somebody's got to get three in front on of her. Three. Got an open person. Shot saved by Zaraski. Canton gets it back. Sophie Ryan with the quick pickup. Nice Moving it quickly. She's got Jada Shaughnessy up there. No, I'm sorry. Nice Izzy look. Larch. Jada Shaughnessy's down the right hand side. Ball's on the ground. I think that's going to go out on us. Now they're going to call Canton for a push. See if Holliston can take advantage here. 12.54 to go in the second half. 14 to 5. Panthers in the lead. An opportunity right nice. there. Nice. Libby Givens. To Givens. That's shooting space. <laughs> she got hit in the hand to begin with. Love to see Libby right here. Tom, put this in the top right. Oh, plenty of room. Givens, shot. Oh, saved by Ravanchi. The, the difference there at times, Libby didn't follow through. So she took the power off her shot by not following through. And then went right to the keeper. So Canton brings it back up the other side very quickly. Try to catch Holliston. Back on their heels, but Holliston's set up on the D. Rachel Beatty has it behind the goal, trying to get some confusion behind the goal. Nice job by Holliston. Just maintain your player. Know who you have. Canton has it behind the net. Eliza Altabelli challenging Canton. They feed it back out. Carolyn Torgi. They're working behind the goal. They're looking for the cutters. All went Drops for the top. it over the top, but it hits the ground. Number six, and Molly Colburn, the senior. A little collision right there. And that's going to give the advantage to Canton. This is uh, Alexa Mafia. We've <laughs> used her name quite a bit today. Right in front, oh, well good defended defense. by the Panthers. Alex Coburn with a nice job on that defense. Hi, right, Mackenzie Underwood, use your transition now. There it is, up front. Oh, a big break for Holliston. Well, Marsh and Tremblay, two on one. Two on one. Knocked away. That's just... Holliston now chasing it. That, unfortunately, you just inexperienced well, you there. Just, That's what you learn. It's, you learn in games like this. Well, she had good speed going in there for sure. It was a nice a nice defensive play. It was. You can see the frustration now in Izzy. You can see she's frustrated by not finishing that up. And she had two options. She could Nice make. back check by Perry, but knocked into the net by number four. And yeah. it's 14 to 6. Liam, Holliston still in the lead. Liam McClellan did a nice job on the feed from Rachel Beatty to get that in the net. Looked like Perry had knocked it free, but... Just did not bounce our way. We got Kalen Trombley again on the draw. Down to 10 minutes and 23 seconds to go here in the second, second half in the game. And it's a even half, three goals apiece in the second half. See if Holliston can answer that Canton goal. Nice flip. Nice job. Lee McConnell has a nice game. She's done a nice job on the draw. She's been aggressive. She's going right to the goal again. And it goes up top for the score. Yeah. So just 11 seconds later, and the Bulldogs are on the board again and close the gap to seven. That is just one of those where the defenders have to know where that ball is. That's the most important player on the field is the one with the ball. You got to slow that down. So Coach Decker making a couple changes here. Brought Lauren Sally back into the game. Brought Emma Sawyers in. Has Emma now at the midfield. And Kaylin Trombley on the draw again here. That's a nice draw there. 
And Kent comes up. See a little bit of difference, Tom, in these last yeah. three or four goals. Canton is winning the draws. And it's just giving you an opportunity, and they're doing one of two things. They're either going to pass it into um, Liam McC McClellan. Oh, there's a loose ball. Comes all the way out to Trombley. They're looking to feed that into between Leah McClellan and Alexa Mafio. You can see who they're trying to get this ball into. Rachel Beatty brings it up high. Work it around. Good job with the defense. Oh, called Eliza Altabelli with a quick push. And we talked about earlier, Tom, she had her stick horizontal. You'll get called every time. Right. Got to have it 10 and 2, between 10 and 2. But horizontal, you're going to get called every time. When you get into college lacrosse, you see a lot more horizontal, and it's a very different game. So Canton with possession. Down to 8.55 to go. 14 to 7, Panthers in the lead. Trying to drive across the middle, see, look for the feed. Picked off by Emily Zorowski in the goal. Sure. Emily with a quick strike up to Izzy Large. Can she keep it in? A little too far ahead. And Man, two Panthers crash into each other going for it. Izzy Large and Danny Kiley collided trying to save the ball. And can't retain possession. Lauren Sally with the quick check. Ball is out, but it's back out on the ground. Oh, wow, that was a good check by Emma Sawyers. That was a good check. You see Lauren Sally puts her stick up now just to try and get in yeah. their face. Here you go, driving to the goal. You got to stop that. Nice. Zorowski with the save. Another nice one. For the senior goalie here on senior night. And uh, Sawyers took a, took a push. You can see, Tom, we talked about it. Leah McClellan from Canton is going to try and push that ball in as best she can. Ball's on the ground. Sophie Ryan good, in good hustle still by has it. 23. Quickly Hollis into Kaylin in Trauma. Attack. Got a three on two. Oh, the ball came out. So Kaylin will have a free position. She should have an opportunity to go to the net here. This is she should go left and shoot back top right. Oh, Canton, nice job closing quickly. Kaylin fed into nice Emma Sawyers. Inside. And Emma Sawyers will have a free position here. Kaylin, Kaylin Tromley did a good job feeding that back in. Yeah, Sawyers had her stick up and now with the now with the opportunity here. Goes for the shot, bounce just up over the net. Holliston ball, 6.47 to go in the game. And the youth teams, Tom, we teach the girls on free position. We call it cookie sheet. We literally would put cookie sheets in the bottom left and the bottom right of the goals <laughs> and have the girls shoot. So you'll try to hit them. Yep, and you'll hear the parents out here. You just heard you heard them yelling, <laughs> cookie sheet, cookie sheet. <laughs> so if you hear that in Holliston, that's what we mean. The bottom right or bottom left corner is where that cookie sheet was. And I will tell you, Tom, my wife was never too happy with me taking the cookie sheets. <laughs> so quick Kylie move. Kylie has to turn back out. A lot of traffic. Let's see. That's going to give Holliston the ball again. So Danny with an opportunity here. Tough angle. Danny being a lefty, that's a tough angle. Smart decision. Maggie Fitzgerald rolling it around. Nice oh, look. nice save. save by Ravanche. That was a nice save. Lauren Sally trying to kick the ball, which is legal. You are allowed to kick the ball. Oh, she's in the goal circle. So it'll be Canton ball. Down to 5.30 to go. It's now... Legal to kick the ball a couple years ago, it was mm -hmm. not. Now, so here you go, Canton again, trying to get into Kalen Trombley. Nice job. Oh, wow, they're going to call Kalen from a push.
Okay, so here we go. Ball's on the ground. Emma Sawyer's with a quick steal. Tried to make a pass into Danny Kiley. Just the defender got a stick on there. Both teams scrambling here with five minutes to go. All right, so Canton trying to push it up. Oh, nice double team there. Maggie Fist just missed with that back check. Orange Sally and Sophie Ryan. Sophie Ryan doing a nice job keeping the stick in front of the Canton player. Now you got Leah McClellan again with the ball. She's looking to try to get something going. Cutting across the middle. Nice job by Ryan. And they called Eliza out to belly for a block, so Alexia Mafia will have a free position. Saraski needs to come up big right here. A shot. Shot and a save, save, and she does. Down to four minutes to play. Holliston with a seven-goal lead. They we got to get into Eliza the attack up. zone right now. Emma Sawyer's picking it up. Trying to push up the field quickly. Oh, look at Kalen right now. Look at Kalen. You got Maggie Fitzgerald Marsh. in the middle. Sort of into the sun there. Too, too much with the ball. You got that opportunity. You got a strike. She looked up and saw Maggie there and just kind of hesitated. It was too late at that point. Larsh across to Fitzgerald. And she gets, she draws the foul. Number two came from behind. So Maggie Fitz now. She's got Sophie Ryan to the left. She moves up, drops it across for Ryan. Ryan tried to make it a little one-timer there. Balls but out. Alex Coburn with it there. Nice switch on defense. No, no, no. She was on offsides. No, they're not offsides. Oh, she was not offsides. The ref called Hollison for being offsides, but Emma Sawyer squished with her. Wow. So Canton with the ball. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. So the offside time, you can't have more than seven offensive and seven defensive players inside what they call Number the restraining. Number six goes for the shot. Zaraski with the save. The second shot goes over the net, but it's going to be Holliston ball. So Eliza should hit Emma Sawyers right here. Emma at the 10-yard line. Whoop, we got to hold the ball. No, oh, no. Oh. Getting a little sloppy. Down to two minutes to go. Rachel Beatty driving across the middle with the shot. Raski with another stop. Emily sees Kaylin Trombley right away. Nice look. Just a tough bounce on the turf. <laughs> White ball. A little frustration by the Canton player. With two minutes here, Hollison should just work on taking the time off the clock. We got Izzy Larch in the middle. That's where she's going. Watch the check. Gets it to the uh, left. Maggie Fitzgerald, they should just work this ball around. Inside to Sally. Lauren Sally, left hand, shoots up top for the goal. So number 13 with her fourth goal of the day. That was a nice look by Maggie Fitzgerald. Saw Lauren came up. Lauren did a nice job putting her stick in the air so Maggie could see the target. And then she just hit it and put it right in. Holliston pushes their lead back to eight with a minute 36 to go in the, in the game. Nice job. Now Lauren's taking the draw. This is our sixth. Lauren Sally on the draw now. And flips and it back towards the Canton end. And Sophie Ryan picks it up. Sophie Ryan picks it up, tried to move it upfield, and ball's on the ground, and Izzy Larch has it. Uh, chop foul. That's going to be against Canton. So Larch with the ball. They should just run the clock out here. You got a minute 22. That's exactly what it looks like they're going to do. 
Lauren's just going to stay the outside. And here are the Canton coaches yelling to pressure, pressure. Kalen will go behind the goal here, getting a shove, but ref's going to let him play. Down to a minute to go. Panthers up by eight. Missed the cutter right there. Canton with the ball. And they get it ahead. Here they go. They're coming to back McClellan. up the field. And they're going right to the goal. Somebody's got to step up, step up. That's it, Eliza. Altabelli does a nice job, and Perry able to scoop up that ground ball. Emma Sawyer's with the ball now. Let's just protect it here, and we that give one, it right back. I think that one was up in the sun. But the ball's on the ground again. Down to 27 seconds to go. Can't bring it back to the middle of the field. Bring it over to 12. Maggie Connolly driving into the goal. Ball's on the ground. Uh, it's going to be a foul on Holliston with 12 seconds to go. Well, my, my uh, expectation is we should see a rousing sideline for Holliston at the conclusion of this game because they know now they're going to be in the playoffs for the first time. There's a shot. Zaraski with the save. Just hold the ball. Nine seconds left. And that's going to do it. And so very fitting on senior night that the senior goaltender is the one who seals the deal for the Panthers to go to the playoffs for their first time ever. Their record moves to 9-7. and seven. They've got two more games to go and help their seeding. But today, a big victory against the Canton Bulldogs, 15-7. to seven. Your scoring summary... Four goals for Lily Trainer. She's got 54 on the year. Four goals for Lauren Sally. She's got 28 on the season. A pair of goals for Jada Shaughnessy. She's got 11 on the season. And then single goals from uh, Danny Kylie, her third. Uh, Maggie, Maddie Fit, Maggie Fitzgerald, Joe. her 13th. Uh, numbers, uh, number 16. Audrey Givens. Audrey Givens, her third. Audrey Strock, her 31st. And number eight, Kaylin Tremblay, her 18th. But a great day for Panther Panther girls lacrosse and making the playoffs, which is exciting. When, when did the program start, Tom? It's been around. Well, actually, since, it's been around 11, 12 years. 12 years. It's, yeah, it's so, been, been for a while and a number of coaches, but you can see the level of play is really improving, and it's just great fun. Well, very exciting for the Panthers to make the playoffs and to finish their season strong. And we had a strong team here for HCAT today. Tom Trainer doing an awesome job uh, on in here in the booth. Really appreciate it. Uh, and up up top, on uh, giving you all the camera angles, Mark Dennison, great job on the camera. Lisa Hedrick helping us set up. I'm Tom Emmons. Your final score from Comedian Field, nine to. Uh, 15 to 7 Panthers. Good night, everybody.